All right, students, we're going to learn about enzymes today. They keep reactions so fast so that you can live. Main concepts to remember. Enzymes are proteins. Uh, they catalyze or speed up biochemical reactions. Enzymes lower the activation energy. That means less energy is needed to start the reaction and therefore quicker. Without them, reactions would be too slow, um, so we would die. Enzymes work on specific reactions because of their shape. One, one enzyme works for one reaction. Enzymes are reusable because they go back to their original shape again, um, required in minute or small quantities. Enzymes are not consumed. In other words, they're not used up or destroyed during a reaction. They denature or deform with intense heat, pH, meaning acids or, or strong acids or bases, and ion concentrations. They slow down also with colder temperatures. Enzymes function within a specific range of heat and pH. Um, they also slow down as they cool. And enzymes alter or change reaction rates or the speed of reactions. They make them faster. That's the point. Let's look at the function. Um, there's many functions. They're very special in our digestive system. Uh, they break down substances like proteins, carbohydrates, and lipids into smaller pieces so that they can enter our bloodstream where our cells will uh, get them from the blood. Um, so the enzymes also help build bigger molecules like proteins, enzymes, uh, other enzymes. And in this case, um, here you have an enzyme that's making DNA. So they make polymers, big molecules. Enzymes are also important to get the energy out of glucose. Like in the mitochondria, we have a lot of enzymes that help break down glucose so we can get a lot of energy or ATP. So they are important for our, met our metabolism. These two simple sugar molecules can combine to form a large double sugar molecule if they come at the right angle. They have to match and proceed and approach at the right angle. That's going to take forever. They've collided, but they have not yet been at the correct angle to form the bond. But now with an enzyme, look what happens. Again, here it is for a specific reaction. And the enzyme almost grabs them together and makes them work fast, makes them combine at the right angle. So the enzyme assists them. Now a bond can form between the small molecules linking them together. And now you have the products. The new double sugar molecule leaves the enzyme. The enzyme is unchanged, and it can do the reaction again and again. Enzymes are specific. That means each enzyme can only be used for one reaction. Let's see. Do you think it'll be um, used for the green enzyme? Let's take a look. No, it doesn't fit. So that green enzyme is not responsible for that one. But the yellow one is because it fits in the yellow spot. That's called the active site you can see right there and again we have another uh, other types of uh, substrates and they can fit in the green enzyme because that's the responsibility of that green enzyme to perform that reaction now we're gonna see a single enzyme and may help to link a group of molecules again these two molecules fit in the enzyme the molecule shifts along the enzyme and a new subunit is formed and the process continues and you build polymers. That's how you build proteins, starches, and DNA. And then finally, let's look at what happens with heat or intense acids and, and uh, bases. So the enzyme has a perfect shape to help these two molecules combine. It's specific. However, this is what happens when you have um, acids bases of extreme kind and even extreme temperature so the enzyme denatures and now the substrate can't fit anymore so now the enzyme won't work and the reaction can't happen that can cause death that's what happens at extreme temperatures or if we drink too much soda we gotta be careful and be healthy enzymes enable molecules called substrates to undergo a chemical change to form new substances called products each enzyme acts on a specific molecule or set of molecules called substrates. Each substrate fits into an area of the enzyme called the active site. This fitting together is often compared to a lock and key mechanism. However, the enzyme changes shape a little to fit with the substrate. In the enzyme-substrate complex, the enzyme holds the substrate or substrates in a position where a reaction can occur easily. 
After reaction, the enzyme releases the products and can go on to carry out the same reaction again and again. Again, let's take a look at that. So we have an enzyme is going to work on a reactant. It's also called a substrate. And so here the enzyme has an active site. That's the binding spot for this substrate. And that's where all the chemical activity or reaction happens. And here you have the enzyme. Now it is bonded with a substrate. And at this point, this whole thing is called uh, the enzyme substrate complex. Enzyme substrate complex, ESC. And then the enzyme is going to reduce the activation energy. In other words, it's going to kind of mess around with the bonds and destabilize them so that they can break apart. And that's what happens next. The enzyme then lets go of the products. They're now called products because that's what we produced at the end of the reaction. And notice that the enzyme goes back to its regular shape so that it could do the reaction again and again and again. That's what we mean by reusable and also what we mean by not consumed. It's not used up. The enzyme never got destroyed. It did its job and it's ready to do it again after it's finished. Enzymes lower activation energy. Let's take a look at this graph here. If you see the red one, that's a reaction without an enzyme. And notice that it takes a lot of energy to start the reaction. That means this reaction is going to take a lot more time. But notice with the enzyme, the enzyme actually destabilizes the bonds of the substrate so that less energy is needed for this reaction to proceed or to start. So notice how much lower it is, how much faster this is going to be because we need less energy to start it. And again, that's a reaction with an enzyme. Those are the benefits of faster reaction. So don't forget, enzymes lower the activation energy. That means less energy is needed to start the reaction. Enzymes work within a specific range of activity. Let's take a look here. These are two enzymes. One is called pepsin, and this is in the stomach where there's a lot of acid. And this is trypsin. This one is in the small intestine where it's more basic. And as you can see, Pepsin works within a specific range from 1 to 5. And the higher it is, it says the rate of the reaction. In other words, the speed is higher. So that means at pH 3, pepsin is at its best. It works really fast at pH 3, which is acid. And if we go to 2, it starts not working as fast, slower. If we go to 4, it works slower. And if we go to 1, really low, almost at nothing, no activity. And if we go to 5 or beyond 5, this enzyme does not work. That means it got denatured or something happened to it. And let's look at trypsin. Trypsin, you guessed it, works high right here, 6.5. That's its best preferable. We call it optimal range. Optimal, where it works at its best. Again, if you go beyond that, it doesn't work that well. If we go beyond 9, it doesn't work at all. It must have got denatured. Or we go uh, less than 4, too acidic, it does, the enzyme doesn't work. Let's look at heat over here. This is an enzyme amylase that's in our in our mouth, in our saliva. It helps us break down starch. And same thing here. You could tell where it works best at 40. Just about 40 and, or 37 degrees Celsius. That's our body temperature inside our body. So it works really well here. But if we heat up our body temperature, like we have a fever or something, or even more than that, notice that the enzyme is going to get denatured, meaning the activity levels go down. It doesn't work that that good over here and it doesn't work at all that could be deadly when we're in these high temperatures so that's why it's important to keep our body cool and at the right temperature also too cold the enzyme slows down in activity so again what's the optimal temperature body temperature for amylase to work so again every enzyme works in a specific range um, it has its optimal activity range and if you go beyond that to the right or to the left then the activity goes down and it could be deadly because remember we need enzymes to make reactions fast so that we can survive. Let's do a check for understanding. Um, again, what do you think A is? What do you think B is? C or D? Pause the video and try it out. Okay, so A is the substrate. B is the active site. C is the enzyme right here. This one is the enzyme substrate complex. And D are the products. And don't forget, the enzyme goes back to the same shape. So it could do the reaction again and again. 